One thing we did want to ask you about, because I see you posting a lot, is that Scramble Scramble House of yeah. Golf, because that looks awesome down looks there. Sick. Yeah, it's uh, uh, I'm very fortunate to be in this area. So it's uh, I'll just give my spiel. So we were at the Philly Golf Show, and then we also went up to Edison to that golf show. Mm -hmm. um, and Justin Rhinus, he's my swing coach, and he's the brain behind the whole thing. He raised two million bucks or something like that, and he has two locations. One's like 8,000 square feet, but the big one that I go to is 21,000 square feet. It has 12 simulators in it. It has a 12-hole putt-putt course inside, and it has a 6,000-square-foot short game chipping and putting area with a putt view as well, and it has a real bunker. Like it's, yeah, it has. So in the chipping area, it's 30. Yeah, we were just, that's the one where you were doing the, the, the chips are over the bunker onto the green. Yeah. Right? Okay, okay. Yeah. And, um, shout out to the guys at 517 golf. Do you, do you know those guys? Timmy, is that 517? 517. 513? No, I don't, no, I don't they're, they're, they're 513. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we know them. Yet. You should look at, Timmy Buckets is a good dude. And um, okay. they, they put on a big John Daly event. And if you, you watch like TikTok, obviously Instagram, but you know that the mailman, the Stanko booty dude? I think I've seen him yeah. before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're having him at their event, but it's a John Daly event that they're putting on in all, like August 26th. Um, hmm. You should reach out. They do some really cool content. So they were at the golf show and they went and did a reel. And the reel's up to like almost 300,000 views and just wow. it's it's pretty cool but yeah the scramble house of golf is a 24 7 365 location you get a key fob you can go whenever you want oh that's Justin's awesome. big that's thing is, yeah <laughs> justin's big thing is if you pay to be part of a club it should never close now justin was with the pga of america pga teacher for I think he said like 13 years or something like maybe eight i don't know how many years but he just resigned from the pga because he said the value there just isn't there for him. And I see it. I see it a hundred percent because I hang with him. I got to spend quite a bit of time with him, uh, at the, at these shows. And he may be, he's definitely the best player development person I've ever seen, but he may be the best player developer in the entire country. And I'm not okay. saying that because like, he's my friend and he's my swing coach. I've seen him do amazing things with people that have never picked up a club and, you know, he has 500 members uh, between the two two places, and it really is a place where you go to get better. Yeah. Nice. It's awesome. We don't have something like that here in Syracuse. There's, like, a couple simulators, and then they've got a big golf dome. Like, we're not far from Turning Stone Resort. Um, it's probably, like, an hour, but it's it's so expensive. You pay, like, by the half hour there, and then you feel like you're rushing. Then there's another big one out in Buffalo that we've gone to a couple times that's yeah. a dome with an indoor course and, you know, chipping putting, but it's nowhere near the size or they're also not open year round. Yeah. No. Like scramble houses. So we were, we were talking earlier. We got a, quite a few people we're connecting with down there in the PA area. And I know we were like, we we're trying to make a trip. Yo, you guys want to come down, come down. Uh, I'll That'd just say, yeah, a hundred percent come down. You know, you we're, we're actually, when I say we, it's really Justin, but he and he, he and I kind of brainstorm a lot on stuff. And, um, mm -hmm. he is one of the smartest people I've ever met. Like he, and if you said to him, you know, Hey man, I have this idea. Like I was talking to him about a lag putting area. Cause one of the other members were like, Hey, can we oh, maybe yeah. get a lag putting area? Like maybe like a, I don't know, like a 20, 30 yard, just putting green where we can work on lag putting is, you know, I've been thinking about that. It's a great idea, but like all the graffiti in there, I don't know if he did all of it, but he like one day he's like, yeah, I want to do an ACE club. And everything there is like, you know, it's like scramble with a K. So the ACE club is, mm -hmm. you know, KLUB. Mm -hmm. And um, he just goes on. Like if you give him an idea, the, the next day it's done and executed and, and on its way. I mean, it's just unreal what this guy does and how he does it. He, um, yeah, it was, it's been fun getting to know him for sure. Hell yeah. yeah. If you guys want to come down, just hit me up and just. How far I got uh, you? You guys are probably like five hours away. Three. No, and it's a half, like it's like three, three and a half. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. not a bad drive to Philly. Yeah, um, yeah I was just, just about that area. Yeah, I was just up in um, Germantown, New York, earlier. Okay, so that's, that's like the Catskills. Yeah, yeah, it's still like probably like hour and a half two from here. Yeah, that's At I least, guess that's yeah. east from you guys, right? Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Okay, yep. yeah. You yeah. guys want to come down? Let me know. I mean, uh, Justin, uh, he has like he has. I have I have guest passes. So like at the very oh, yeah. least I could use guest passes, but I'm, I'm sure that, you know, 
It, it's he's not he's not about trying to gain new members, but the sure. word is getting out about how amazing this place is because there are places similar to it, but the culture there's one rule. The one rule is you say hello when you come in and you say goodbye when you leave. That's it. You can bring your own sure. drinks. You can bring. There's no alcohol or food in there. Sure. Yeah. Um. There is like a there's a cooler and it's an honor system. There's a red solo cup there and you drop a dollar in it. You take your drink and you move on. Or you Venmo them. There's a Venmo sticker like with a QR. That's wow. so sick. That's brilliant. Yeah, that's it's so sick. it's amazing. <laughs> and like so he's he's building a podcast studio in there because of hell yeah. Oh, there yeah. You go. <laughs> that's gonna be so tight. I bet too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like it's in a back room and like there are people that belong to Aronim Inc. and Marion and. Philadelphia Cricket and Philadelphia Country Club and you name the biggest clubs around the Philadelphia area, they belong there because their clubs close. Like there's, that's why you know, like, yeah. And these are people that are highly successful people that want to get better at golf, but they can't do it in the winter because their clubs close. Right. Right. So what, yeah. what's the alternative? Are you going to go to, you know, uh, an X golf, which look, X golf is great, but it's a bar. It's not a it's not a place for you to get better. It's like an it's like yeah. going bowling, right? Right. This place, there's ping pong table, there's a, a pool table, there are couches at every sim. By the way, they're most comfortable couches you ever sit on. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's just it it has such a good vibe, man. Like you go in, there will be little kids in there, you know, hitting. And uh, Justin, one of his students, just signed. She signed with Oklahoma. Like she's going to Oklahoma oh, wow. to play D one golf, and she's probably going to play every week. That's wild. And, and everyone's just everyone just kind of cheers people on. Like, yeah, you can go on a Friday night, you walk in, and there will be someone with the brand new tailor made, what's that, the Q10 or whatever it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, someone breaks out the tool and they're putting on different shafts and they're like, hit this, check it out. What like it's just such a cool environment. Like it's I love that. It's unmatched. It really is. It's hard, it's hard to find anything like that, it's like with um just being like so positive and like trying to like help other people get better because i feel like just with now society norms people it's always a competition yeah. people are trying to be better than one another rather than actually yeah. just doing to help each other like that yeah and something like that where you've got the honor system in place and you got a guy that's like oh i've got a vision you got a vision it's like an open area let's let's make it work that's so sick yeah and and you can i mean i've been in there i've gone in you know early in the morning on like a like a weekday and I'm the only person mm -hmm. in there. I can go in on the iPad, put on Spotify, Pandora, whatever, and just bump music through the whole entire place. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, there's a and there's TVs at the bays. Like we were watching the Eagles game. We were watching them obviously get beat by Tampa. Yeah. Um, but that was a Monday night game, and that was during our league. And you know, it, it's just it's so much fun. And again, Justin, just the way he wants to do things. And and listen, he's he talks real. He doesn't. He doesn't get to a point where I'll give you an example. I never took a lesson. I'm very lesson adverse, right? I'm a I'm a self learner. Baseball. I never took. I took some lessons here and there, but I feel like you know, outside of the way I look, there's still an athlete inside of here, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that I can overcome a lot of stuff. Well, he taught me how to hit a golf ball, and I gained 30 yards in 30 minutes, and that's no that's no nonsense. So. Um, you might have to bleep this out if you have to, but I'm going to tell you exactly <laughs> the first thing he said to me. And I said, look, the only thing I don't want to do is change my grip because I don't interlock my fingers. I kind of overlap them. Okay. And he came over and he grabbed my hand and he twisted because I had a really weak left hand and I'm right handed. Mm -hmm. So he twisted my hand. He goes, don't ever fucking move your hand from there again and you'll be just fine. And it worked. And so <laughs> like, it's crazy. Like my, so he also, he guarantees that you get better at golf. He doesn't necessarily mean, it doesn't mean that your handicap will go down. So I was one of probably less than 10% that didn't get better handicap wise, but I'll tell you, I'm hitting the ball the best I've ever hit it outside of my driver. I have a lesson this upcoming Thursday for that, <laughs> nice. but I'm going to get dialed. I'm like a 13 now, 13, seven ish. Cool. I'm going to be Hell a yeah. seven something by the end of 2024. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's half the battle too, is like, you know, just fighting yourself. I mean, obviously you can take lessons and get yeah. better and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah, it's a mental game. It sounds like obviously, you know, from like other sports and especially baseball, like you, the mental fortitude of like having to overcome that yeah. stuff. Yeah, you can slump, you can slump in golf. 
Trust me, I've, oh, I've yeah, done oh, for it sure. so many times. <laughs> Dude, we did it in our in a weekend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We were real hot and then we real were real cold. hot and super cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.